how to know if you're with the right girl and there is no one better for you. Hmm. You will feel content. You got to remember the honeymoon period, the infatuation period tends to last six to 12 months. So after that wears off, after the elation has worn off, then you're, and you've been together a couple years, you then see how you really are. Do you feel internally motivated to continue giving to her and supporting to her and listening to her and loving her and nurturing her and vice versa? Do you like her on her best day and her worst day? Do you want to have a family with her? Do you want to have children with her? Is she loyal? Is she faithful? Do her words and her actions match? Do you have similar goals, similar values? Do you want the same thing? If you love kids and want kids and she hates children and doesn't even like being around them, probably not a good idea to get married. If you're a family person and she's not, probably not a good match. So you want to make sure that they make the effort. and Because it's like I can teach a guy how to cause the woman he wants to fall in love and keep her in love. The, the question is, is, is he going to want to continually do that after the honeymoon period has worn off? What are your outcomes? What are your goals for your personal life? Again, if you're going to get married and you want to do one person for life, it's like you're going to have a family. That's a good reason to do that. But again, it really matters. What's your outcome? What are you looking for? What's what's important to you? The, the goals and values, are they a match or are they not? The, is she easygoing, easy to get along with? Does she communicate and work things out or is she passive aggressive and hangs up on you and says, I don't want to talk about it and then gives you the silent treatment for four or five days and then calls you and she's like, hi, honey, how are you? I missed you. And just acts like nothing happened. Probably not going to enjoy being in a relationship with somebody like that because life's hard enough. You want a woman who is a net plus to your, your life, not a woman who's like every night waiting for you to come home so she can give you shit about something she's upset about. Yeah. Definitely when you're in a relationship, it's teamwork, but there has to be some excitement to it. You know, think of it as like a little adventure with, with you know, company and company that you love, care for, are willing to make memories, take gazillions of pictures on your phone as possible, mm -hmm. put them in a scrapbook, put them in your wall, take pictures with them with your Polaroid camera, like little things like that. Like, granted, I know hopeless, uh, like uh, romantic comedy movies can be cheesy, but in reality, when, when you find someone that makes you, like, excited about life, that's pretty awesome. So, teamwork and excitement shouldn't have to be, like, after the honeymoon phase and shouldn't have to It'll stop. feel right after yeah. several years. You'll, you, won't feel like, you won't feel like you're missing out on anything. You, you're not going to walk down the street thinking, damn, I wish I was with a girl like that. If you've got somebody that does it for you, it's like you'll see a hot girl walking by, but you're like, I don't feel like I'm missing out. You feel like I, I got the best. You'll know. You will know. Your gut will tell you. Your emotional center will communicate that too. If it don't feel right, don't do it. Me and Pete always do these cute little things. Like he'll go out of town, and then he'll bring me back something like um, he went to New York a couple weeks ago. Um and he brought me back, well, um, a duck, a little, like, a rubber ducky Aww. with that says, I love New York on it. But when I had went to Miami, I went to the sugar factory, and I had given mm -hmm. him a little duck that said sugar factory on it. So we always do, like, cute little things. Or, like, he went to his friend's, like, one-year-old birthday party, and then he brought me back, a, like, a little beanie baby Aww. or, like, like it's a small thing. It's like, I want – and it's some of the stuff is really stupid because I'm, like, I love, like, nature – and stuff like that, so, and, like, bugs and all different things. But one day I was like, wow, I was out walking the dogs, and I was like, that's a nice rock. So I, like, picked up this rock, <laughs> and I, that. like, grabbed it. And it was, like, it was a pretty big rock. It was, like, this big and, like, round and, like, smooth. So I was like, it was nice. And then I was like, hey, and he was taking a nap. I woke him up, and I said, like, I got you something. And he was like, what? And I turned, I pulled it from behind my back, and I was like, this. And he goes, what is it? I was like, it's a rock. He goes, oh, it's like a pet rock. It's very nice, honey. <laughs> and you that. know what? It sits on the window, and sometimes um, he'll, like, rub it for good luck That's or so then cute. pet oh it or God. something like that. So it's just, like, sometimes it's just, like, the little things that make our, like, ours. We do cute little stuff. Like, I don't have much of a, you know, 
I have a little bit of butt, but not much. But he'll go and like squeeze my butt. And I'm like, ah, you know, or you know, something stuff, stuff, little stuff like that. Like Corey said multiple times, it's the little things it's and the then things. flirting or being like the bratty, bratty little, little sister or yeah, stuff pinch like your that. Butt, pinch your nipples. Uh, he hates yeah. that. No, it's little things no, like that that nipples. really make oh, a difference. Oh yeah, he's well. It's little things like that that make a difference. Like yeah. ultimately, like these past like few months, I've been going to Disney a lot, and um, I always find myself uh, bringing my boyfriend a uh, Rice Krispie in the shape of Mickey Mouse. For yeah. some reason, I get him ev- anything else, and then for some reason, I just end up also on top of that. Getting a, a yeah. Mickey shaped Rice Krispie treat. Yeah. Well, just so you know, know I like the turkey legs. 